A pastor came to me yesterday and he said, Peter, this is a miracle. What you have brought here is a miracle. This is something marvelous. This is something very wonderful, which has never, never been there before. We are in Awil, Sudan. We have been working on this first tower that's going up. It is uh, almost complete. It's all the way up at 60 meters, so about 200 feet. How can we reach each individual person in a place like this? Uh, it's a logistical nightmare. How do we make a widespread, broad impact? How do we work effectively in a place with a literacy rate projected to be less than 1%? We began to wonder if radio wasn't our answer. We believe that uh, a movement will come through abundant evangelism. And I don't think there's a better tool than radio. Our vision is a radio station network that covers all of the densely populated areas of southern Sudan. A base in Kampala, Uganda, located on our home H Sudan compound, an uplink to satellite, and a downlink to various repeater stations all over southern Sudan. The gospel spoken by southern Sudanese using chronological Bible story in the heart language of the tribe in that area. In addition, they will receive community development programming, they will hear the news, and thanks to our partnership with Kush for Christ, they will be able to hear even from their local pastors. And that's where our work is to combine radio with the community, with the local churches, to help them bring in the, the, the new believers from the radio and disciple them locally, and then through those new believers, new churches being planted. Very soon we are going to reach out with the gospel more and more. I'm hoping that in Tesha we are going to have thousands of churches in the Holy State. We want everyone to hear, and they will not hear unless that player gets into their hands. We're so grateful for Galcom International, based in the Toronto area of Canada, who has designed such a radio for us to use in southern Sudan. A digital, solar-powered, handheld radio, fixed-tuned only to our station. For only $20, we're able to have a radio manufactured, delivered to southern Sudan, and distributed from mud hut to mud hut. If we can get the radios into the hands of the non-literate, the oral people, they will be the ones that will hear and believe. There's much work to be done. Could do that in the Mlaka with Lil Wilfa. Then when you're legend of book, and the book on the Lao, you the long just Christo Gam, and just when Banyalco, they know about our real just Christo, go up in the Lao. So God is, is so great, um, He's so faithful, and uh, this is my chance to say thank you. We are so thankful to receive this radio, and uh, it was something very great something uh, they've never seen before. Years ago, the vision for this radio station network began. Here we stand today as our first radio station has been installed in southern Sudan, and we are praying that it will be his miracle for this place, sparking a great movement as the masses here receive the word of God in a form which they can readily accept, and communities are transformed by the word of the living Lord.